Hi, I'm Tiffany. Today, I'm going to show you how to multiply and divide fractions. Multiplying and dividing fractions. When multiplying fractions, you want to multiply your numerators, then multiply your denominators, then simplify. When dividing, you want to remember the rule, keep it, change it, flip it, and then simplify. Example number one. This is a multiplication problem. The great, great, great thing about multiplying fractions is you do not have to get a common denominator. You multiply straight across, so they're really straightforward and pretty easy. I'm going to draw my equal sign out here. 3 times 5 is 15, and 7 times 6 is 42. Then you simplify your fraction if you're able to. I can divide 3 into 15 and 42. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. And 42 divided by 3 is 14. Let's move on to example number 2. Example number 2. I have 1 ninth times 1 half. Multiply straight across. 1 times 1 is 1. And 9 times 2 is 18. So my answer to example number 2 is 1 18th. Let's move on to example number 3. Example number 3. We have a division sign. So for this example we are dividing. We need to remember the rule. Keep it, change it, flip it. To help us, I'm going to write those letters the initials to each of those words, keep it, change it, flip it, right above each part of our problem. I'm going to keep my first number the same. So my 8 thirteenths just gets rewritten. I'm going to change my division sign to a multiplication sign, and I'm going to flip my last fraction to its reciprocal. A reciprocal means you switch the position of the numerator and the denominator. The numerator becomes your denominator and your denominator becomes your numerator. Now you solve like a regular multiplication problem. 8 times 3 is 24. 13 times 2 is 26. I can divide 2 into both my 24 and 26 to simplify and that would give me 12 over 13. So my answer to example number 3 is 12 over 13. Here's example number 4. We have another division problem. We need to remember our letters to help us remember our steps. K is for keep it, C is for change it, and F is for flip it. We're going to keep our 4 fifteenths the same. We're going to change our division sign to multiplication and flip our last fraction to its reciprocal. 4 times 5 is 20. 15 times 1 is 15. We're ending with an improper fraction here so we need to convert this. I know that 15 goes into 20 one time it has a difference of 5 and my denominator is going to remain the same. This was dividing to get to this step. If you're not so sure how I did this in my head, I'll show you up here. What I did was divide 15 into 20. I know that it goes in once and that is 15. When I subtract, I get 5. So my 1 is my whole number, so that's here. 5 is the difference. That means when I was putting 15 into the 20, there's 5 left over that I don't have space for. The 5 becomes my numerator, and my 15 from the denominator remains the same. This fraction can simplify. I can divide 5 into my numerator and my denominator. The 1 just comes over. We're only simplifying the fraction part. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. 
My answer to example number four is one and one third. Let's move on to example number five. Example number five, division again. I need to keep it, change it, flip it. Keep this number the same, change this to multiplication, and flip this. Before we begin, because our numbers are kind of big, we can actually cross cancel here. It'll give us smaller numbers to work with. When you cross cancel, you will usually work on the diagonal, okay? So I can say, what can go into 6 and 9? And I know 3 can. So I'm going to cross this out and say 3 goes into 6 2 times, 3 goes into 9 3 times. I'm going to do the same over here. It looks like 3 is the same number that can go over here as well. So 21, uh, 7 goes into 21 3 times. And 3 going into the 15, that's 5 times. So now I have new fractions to work with. I have 2 sevenths and 5 thirds, okay? So now I'm going to multiply with these numbers instead of the old numbers because that's easier to work with. Basically what I ended up doing to get this is dividing all the numbers by 3. 2 times 5 is 10. 7 times 3 is 21. This is already in my simplest form. There's nothing that can go into both 10 and 21. So my answer to example number 5 is 10 over 21. That's my last example. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, then head over to supereasymath.com for more math tutorials, printable video notes, worksheets, and more.